Hey, so it's uh, been a while since I've done like a legitimate vlog. So I thought I might do that today because I've got quite a few things going on. A group that I'm doing some arranging for has rehearsals starting in just a few days. So I need to throw something together for them really quick. So that's going to be my priority for the remainder of this week and the weekend. But intermixed with that, I also have a thought form collective rehearsal. Oh, look what I found. The mug from the last video I recorded. That's gross. I don't know if I've told you about it before, but Thought Form Collective is a group that I co-founded to play new music. Currently, the group consists of me and two others, uh, Chris Scher and Carson Van Duke. <laughs> I'm 90% sure it's pronounced Van Duke. Uh, Carson, if you're watching, uh, let me know if I was right or wrong. So I thought I'd take you along with me. Uh, to check that out. We uh, typically rehearse by just grabbing instruments and going. Uh, we're, we're big fans of the tuned pipes. Most of the time I'll just go to the bucket that has them and just grab four or five of them at random and make it work. I've recently started trying to integrate either my Casio SK-1 or my Arturia Micro Freak into the improv. I might or might not try to eventually get this uh, electron model cycles integrated, but I don't think that's going to happen today. I meant to spend some time like actually arranging that, like writing out the melody to where it was not just me faking it, but like coming up with something that's actually musically compelling. But I spent just as much time on that as I did on the, the pipe video or the pipe recording. Well, it's about 2 o'clock, oh, 2.20, and I'm back home from my chiropractor appointment and thought form collective rehearsal. So I'm going to try to get some work done on this marching show, and hopefully tomorrow I can get a good chunk of work done on it, because they have a rehearsal on Monday. I looked up and realized it's been like two hours since I checked in with you last, and I haven't exactly been vlogging. 
but I have been working on the piece. I'll let you see a little bit of it. My dog's in a cone. So this is an arrangement, and I'm not sure what YouTube is going to do about that, so I'm not actually going to play you what is being arranged. I'm not even going to tell you what it is, but you can see some of the synth stuff I've been messing with. Funny listening to that right now. Uh, I stuck to just major chords in the actual chord parts, but the arpeggios are doing like major sevens and, and stuff like that, diatonic seven chords. I promise it sounds a lot less um, just church hymn, <laughs> one four one five one chord relationships uh, with everything else. But but you're just gonna have to deal with not hearing that because I don't want a copyright claim filed against me, and I don't want to give away anything from the marching band I'm working with. And by the way, this is all just kind of transcribing some of the source material and also spending some time putting my own tweaks on it on parts where the wind book, like the brass and the woodwind part, uh, diverged from the original material. I'm kind of done with my basic plot of the piece. And tomorrow I plan to spend the time actually making it fit the instrumentation that they have in the front ensemble. Because right now it's just a whole bunch of synths, because that's kind of what I heard in the piece. Well, I kind of forgot to keep filming. Uh, so it's three days later, and I continued working on the piece for the marching band I was working on, as well as the next movement. I have stuff all over my lens. Uh, what was I saying? Anyway, uh, so it's been three days. Very productive three days. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for checking it out. By the way, I'm pretty proud my Day in the Life of a Composer video just hit a thousand views. That's pretty cool. If you haven't checked it out before, uh, click here. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work on this, try to finish the second movement so that by the time I get the third movement from the person arranging the wind book, I'll be ready for it. So yeah, uh, check out my website, drewmorsemusic.com or my Patreon, patreon.com slash drewmorsemusic, and I'll see you next week. I hope. <laughs>